Business headlines for help with that. We're going to welcome our in studio guests. We have former NASDAQ and business reporter Chris Alenzo, as well as business and political commentator John Burnett. Good morning to you both. Okay, let's jump into those markets. They finished the day up this morning. Features are mixed ahead of the opening bell. All right, Vice Media. Now that's the latest digital media company to file for bankruptcy, hoping to facilitate a sale of the company and just kind of keep it afloat. Um, you know, John, what, what went wrong here? Well, according to the coroner's report, <laughs> right, the cause of death is fake news, mm. right? I should say chronic fake news. Yep. And you know what? It runs in the liberal family because BuzzFeed went <laughs> with the same way as Vice That's News, right? right? And uh, when you look at the other me liberal media outlets, they're really not doing well. So the, if they don't actually survive this 2024 election cycle, I think many more will actually ultimately go out of business. I think you're completely right there, John. Um, how about this? So as we wait for a resolution um, of the nation's debt ceiling debate, we've been talking about this. You know, consumer debt has hit a record high as well. I mean, now it's surpassing $17 trillion with a T for the first time. And that's despite a decrease in mortgage demand. Uh, Krisha, it seems like people are really bogged down with that credit card debt right now. The fact that we have uh, $1 trillion worth of credit card debt is outrageous. Mm -hmm. And this is just getting worse because people are experiencing tremendous hardship when it comes to inflation rates and also the fact that they're not balancing uh, the interest rate payments as well. So APR, which is the uh, credit card rate, is at 20.33% according mm -hmm. to bankgrade.com. That's a lot. And That's basically, lot. if you don't pay off your credit card debt, it just piles up and this is just leads to even more problems. So pay off your credit card debt um, and deal with it early on. Yeah, I mean, inflation, just mm -hmm. everyday goods. I go to the store just to get some Tide laundry detergent and it's $30. Yes. It, it's just surreal right now. Um, well, speaking of debt, Americans are actually shockingly, setting records when it comes to vacation spending. They're splurging on restaurants, bars, hotels. Um, John, that kind of goes against what Krisha just said. People are, totally. are splurging. So what's they're, going on? They're spending, More debt. Money, they're spending <laughs> money that they don't have. Yeah. But you know what? Happiness begins at home, and they're trying to spread it abroad by taking trips. But the thing is, you know what? It's good for your mental health. It's good to change the scenery and so forth. But spend within your means, right? And if you do spend a little bit more, make sure you, you, you pay, like Krisha said, yep. make sure you pay, pay it off. the balance. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because you're just going to keep getting the interest, right. exactly what Krisha just said. Um, one thing that has actually gone down in price, shockingly, Eggs. Uh, Krisha, you now we're starting to see things like these inflated prices kind of come down at the grocery store a little bit. Right. It has not hit the consumer yet. I mean, a bit in terms mm -hmm. of the Department of Ag Agriculture said that prices for a dozen eggs are about 78 cents. Initially, back in 2022, they're about five dollars and 83 cents, oh. too. So it's just it's gotten to the point where uh, they're coming down, but we really need to take a look and see how that affects the rest of the economy because restaurants are still feeling those those price increases. I think people forget about the yes. restaurants right. as the well, end, not the just the grocery store. Of the eggs. Right. Mm -hmm. the prices mm -hmm. never come down as fast as they go, go up. <laughs> Such a good point. <laughs> um, well, inflated car prices coupled with low supplies of those new vehicles are now forcing Americans to keep their cars even longer. I think the average I saw was a little over 12 years. So, John, what is this doing for the car industry? Well, people are being smart. They're saying, you know what, I'd rather keep more money in my pocket. And they're looking at their old car and they're saying, you know what, I could probably get another 50,000 miles out of it. Right. You know, just, you know, maybe tune up, maybe a new paint job. And actually, it's cheaper to keep it. <laughs> yeah, and also, I, I think it's true to buy, if you're going to buy a vehicle, buy a used vehicle. Right, because we, we just talked about consumer, you know, spending, mm -hmm. right, and debt. So people are saying, you know what, I really don't need to go deeper in debt, but that might actually t come back to bite the uh, auto, auto industry. Absolutely. We'll see. Absolutely. Uh, well, how about this one? This was trending all over social media yesterday, especially on Twitter. Another beer maker is supposedly in trouble. So a recent ad that came out is now kind of resurfaced from Miller Lite this time, making its round all over social media. Um, a lot of people are now saying Miller Lite has joined the woke train. Krisha, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think it's going to go the way of Bud Light? 
I don't think it will go okay. the way of Bud Light. But this is Miller Lite also potentially taking a woke stance, and that's what people are saying on Twitter. This is a resurfaced ad that was uh, released back in March, but people are taking a look because Miller Lite is coming out saying that women actually were the first ones to come up with brewing beer. And unfortunately, the industry has sexualized women. They haven't treated them very well. So this ad is all about getting rid of these images and basically fertilizing them to create new beer. So um, I just think that... I, I don't know. They're not catering to the consumer. Beer drinkers don't want to see this. Mm -hmm. We're kind of sick of this woke uh, antics. And ultimately, I think they need to pay attention to the consumer. And like you said, they're not catering to the consumer. A lot of times, you know, good or bad, the consumer of a lot of these beers, it's the college kids. It's the guys. Right. It's the sporting events. So having the women in the bikinis, it's it works sometimes, you know? At least, the world. at least they're focusing on women. Right. right? I mean, right. okay. Yeah. Right. It's better right? than what it so, was. So they're awake, not woke. But they're <laughs> awake. I like that. Yeah. Um, finally, we got to get to this one. So a vintage sports card has sold at auction for a record price. Uh, John, this card is actually now the third most expensive basketball card, card of all time. Good timing because the Celtics are moving on and the playoffs. Oh, Tell us about gosh. it. gosh. <laughs> I'm a Knicks fan, folks. Uh -oh. You know? I like the only thing I like about, you know, New England is the seafood. Oh. <laughs> but but hey, hey, you know what? Bill Russell is right there, right, I think $10,000 uh, for uh, behind Wilt Chamberlain's mm. rookie card. So I think that's awesome. And I think Mike is number one at 800000 So he's in a good class He's in a good people. little group right yeah, there. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Uh, Chris Lizzo, John Burnett, thank you both for joining Thanks, us this Alex. morning. It was a whole lot here. of fun. All right, everyone.